happening in the financial world. Warren Buffett, one of the world's richest men, summed up the economic crisis this way on CNBC. It's, it's fallen off a cliff, and uh, not only has, has the economy slowed down a lot, people have really changed their behavior like nothing I've ever seen. In a wide-ranging interview Monday on the cable network, Buffett predicted higher unemployment and inflation in 2009 because of the economic crisis. I've never seen the consumer, or the Americans just generally, more, more fearful than this, and, and, and they're also confused. Buffett blamed partisan bickering on Capitol Hill for adding to the confusion. The latest example of that was on ABC's This Week, as Republican Senator Richard Shelby and Democratic Senator Evan Bayh debated the merits of allowing major U.S. banks to fail. Close them down. Get them out of business. If they're dead, they ought to uh, uh, be buried. If they were to go down, the problem is it's, it's not just them. They take it's called, you know, collateral damage. Although he's optimistic about long-term prospects, Buffett urged Republican and Democratic leaders to deliver a consistent message and support President Barack Obama's efforts to fight what he calls an economic war. Meanwhile, a new report by the World Bank says the global economy continues to shrink. The International Lending and Development Organization predicts world trade will fall in 2009 by the largest amount in 80 years, with the sharpest losses expected in Asia. Milar Sega, VOA News.